Hello, and welcome back to EnglishTestBlog.com. Do you think you're C1 in English? Take this test and find out your level. Let's get started. 1. Contrary to popular belief, these animals are not aggressive and rarely attack humans. Contrary to popular belief, we use this phrase to say something is true even though many people believe the opposite. 2. We are under no illusion that living in London is going to be very easy. An illusion is a false idea or belief. The phrase be under no illusion means not have a false idea. 3. Which verb best fits the space? Abrogate, alleviate, aggravate. The correct answer is alleviate, which means to make something less painful, severe, or serious. These measures are designed to alleviate rural poverty. 4. Which sentence uses the future perfect tense correctly? The correct answer, he will not have written all the reports by the end of the month. The formula for the future perfect tense is subject plus will plus have plus past participle. We insert not between will and have to make the sentence negative. 5. Which of the following words is not a past participle? Drew, foreseen, lane, sunk. The correct answer is drew, which is the past simple of draw. 6. He was talking absolute nonsense. Talk is the correct verb in the expressions talk nonsense and talk sense. 7. Citrus fruits, such as oranges and grapefruits, are full of vitamin C. We do not use a comma to separate such as from the list of examples that follows it. 8. They searched far and wide for the missing child. The idiom far and wide means over a large area. For example, his fame spread far and wide. 9. Which sentence contains a mistake? This sentence is not correct. Felt is a linking verb in this sentence. A linking verb is followed by an adjective, not an adverb. 10. They were immune from prosecution for nonviolent acts. If you are immune from a particular process or situation, you are protected from it. 11. Most adults are immune to this disease. 
If you are immune to a particular disease or illness, it has no effect on you. 12. Complete the idiom. I decided to throw caution to the winds and start my own company. The idiom to throw caution to the winds means to stop being careful and do something that has risks. 13. Which of the following correctly completes this sentence using the third conditional? If we had arrived earlier, we would have seen him. To form the third conditional, we use the past perfect tense for the if conditional clause and would have plus the past participle in the second part of the sentence. 14. Make a phrasal verb that means to admire or respect someone. To look up to. The phrasal verb to look up to means to admire or respect someone. For example, I've always looked up to him for his courage and determination. 15. I'm not used to driving an automatic car yet. If you are used to doing something, it is familiar to you because you've been doing it for some time. How many questions did you answer correctly? Share your level with us in the comments below.